It's time for a requested system test, and this is requested system test number 78, requested by Thorn Gamma 6. That's right. So, without th further ado, let's begin. So, uh, I'm actually going to make this quite quick because the battery on this um, iPhone is actually kind of running low right now and not really much else to say. Um, yeah, so let's just get begin with NAC1, which is my Wheelock MT24 LSM, which has moved from the last system test, which I believe was on NAC6, sorry, NAC4, there's no NAC6. <laughs> um, that's right. Below that we got the System Sensor MA1224D remote sounder. Um, below that we've got my wheel um, Edwards 202-7A-001. I believe that's the right model number. This is a first generation remote integrity strobe ceiling mount device, which actually makes this rare. You probably saw the device below that. And this was made in 1994. Finally below that we got my Wheelock AES-EL1-WS-24, very long model number. Basically it's a three tone four wire and can be two wire, like I have it now, um, Wheelock horn strobe, non-ADA, from 1992. Um, I believe this was made in 2001 and this is 1995, so we got a mid to early 90s like system and late 90s I guess and the same smoke detectors and tied with the Wheelock AES is my Wheelock WST24. Now I know I've pre previously said that every system test I've done I start throwing up um, devices that I haven't used on this back box. Well if you remembered our few system tests or some system tests back yes this what this remote strobe was on this back box before, so that means, yes, I did break that rule, but who cares? <laughs> I kind of did that, to be honest, for, for when I was using my DSLR for um, uh, using system tests, which honestly, um, none of you guys have actually mentioned about using my iPhone for the system tests, so I think I'm just going to continue doing this. That's just fine with you guys, so. On zone 1 we got the FCI MS2, first generation, FCI MS6, second generation, Sil Silent Night SD500-PS was addressable, now conventional, and finally my Firelight VG6, and the usual MS10UD with troubles because this is disabled and so is the MA1224D. The remote strobe is non-silenceable. No, this is not non-silenceable because this is tied with the AES and the system is set on March time. This being on high-low, this is on 800 slash 1000 hertz alternating and this is on warble. So we are actually going to begin now and if you have strobe epilepsy, do not watch this. I don't usually say that often and I really apologize for that but a fair warning just a note there. Now we are going to begin with the sec first gen MS2. So without further ado, here we go. And a three, a two, a one. I think I meant to say this was on high-low. 
that's still flashing because it's on non silenceable All right. Time to silence the trouble, go into primary mode, go into password, which is not the default. Cool. And it got silence the panel because zones are disabled. I'm gonna pull the MS6 for this one. Here we go. I don't think anyone's actually ever done that, so that's honestly pretty cool. It's only doing the um, 800, sorry, the I think it's doing the 1000 hertz. Um, I think what I meant to say it's 10,000 hertz slash 800 hertz alternating, so it does the 10,000 one first. So that's kind of the first. And the MA1224D does not have a tone that just does that, so. And this one's only sounding the high tone, which is similar to the last requested system test. I'll just stop talking. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oops. Escape zones. Sometimes I have to remember what I'm doing. I can only go oh so fast. The batteries are connected. Because this panel outputs filter DC, I have nothing to worry about regarding FWR. We're going to pull the silent knife for this one, and this is very hard to pull. Okay, wow. Okay. So, a little bit of a fail. I don't know why that's not sounding. a little strange. Uh, I might have to cut this part out and figure out what the problem is, actually, so. Oh, goodness. Come on. It's also quite hard to reset. So, I actually gotta cut it out here. And I'm going to figure out what the problem is with these AES, and I apologize for that. I'll be right back. Okay, so everything's all fixed now. It was just a little bit of a wiring error. I had this wired on strobe only when I was supposed to wire it into the warble terminal. So we're going to pull the VG6 for this, and this is on March time. Yeah, this is obstructing the silent night pole just a little bit, so... Right. Might take a little while to screw. There you go. Yeah. Please. Oh, thank goodness this panel does not have real harm, because that would be bad. So, all right. I am just gonna leave it at that. So, reset, and we're gonna activate everything. We will do the drill. Button. Uh, smoke. 
Yes, and yes. Oh, sorry. Don't need to do that. So we're gonna activate the 2151. This will be loud. Probably is the time you do not want to watch this if you have strobe epilepsy for sure. Here we go. Oh goodness, that is loud. And we should be all good. Alright. Go turn off the fan. And end it there. So, thank you for watching requested system test number 78. We're even closer to the system test 80, so you know what that means. Yes, it means it's not going to be a requested system test. It's going, to be, it's going to be one that I choose all sorts of devices. So, expect that to come, the system test after the next. And, yeah. I'm going to be continuing the, mini, the requested system tests and the mini tests. Um, we'll see. Like, I mentioned what happened with those, but yeah. Thank you to the requester, um, Thorn Gamma 6 for this request and test. So, thanks for watching.